Hello, so in this video, I would like to cover how to plan an outdoor environment and also how to decide what's going to be modular in an environment so that you can create environments quickly and also and also in a way in which you can reuse a lot of the assets that you create in a way that doesn't really create too repetitive a too repetitive looking scene. So I'm going to be showing you a few different concepts that I found online and I'm going to be breaking down how I would go ahead and create uh, environments like these. Uh, let's look at this one first. I think this one's really simple. And the first thing that we want to plan for is we have to decide how many assets we're going to need for the environment, what assets are going to be reused across the environment, and how we're going to put this together uh, when we're just starting. So on this concept, uh, there are a few things that are obviously uh, simple and repeating patterns. Uh, one of these, one of those is the trees. Uh, the trees are really simple and geometric almost. And so we could probably get away with creating one or two trees at most, maybe even just one. The reason for that is because like even here, if you're looking at these two trees, they look different because the bark looks slightly different on both. Uh, but if you were to rotate the tree around, it will look different anyway. And so here's what we are, what I would do is I would make one or two trees. So decide which one you want to focus on and then we're going to re I would reuse it across this scene. And so that's one object or two, if you want to count that. Then we have these two uh, statual carvings of faces and they look similar, but I think they are slightly different. So what I would do is I would make at least two different ones because so that it doesn't look uh, like we're just reusing the same one across the, uh, the scene. So I would make at least two statues or carvings, whatever you want to call these. So there's that. And then we pretty much only have the uh, ground and the foliage. So the foliage, we have different types. We have uh, this type of foliage, which is across, being used across the environment. We have the uh, these, so that's another type of foliage. Then we have the overgrowth on the trees, which we can use on all these trees. And we can also use that to create some variation within the trees. So we can paint some of the foliage across the actual tree. And that looks like it's pretty much the only type of foliage. Maybe we have these extra plants. So that's the foliage. That's how we break that down. And then we have the ground. And the ground will be pretty much a... We could use a terrain in Unreal or we could just use Geo in Maya. And for the ground, what I would do is, as you can see here, this ground is not completely flat. There's like a like a slope going up here. As you can see, it goes up. And then there's the ground here. And then there are other slopes in the background. So what you could do is you could create a few slope Geo pieces. So that would look like something like this so that's the geo piece and we could reuse that across maybe we can have a geo piece that also has this slope right here and that's pretty much it so this thing is actually really simple so as you can see here we have one two three uh, four five six and seven pieces and that pretty much makes up our environment and we can reuse the trees to make an entire forest like I mentioned if we make like two different ones at least and oh we also have uh, like a broken tree so we can use that we could also use that broken tree across the environment especially if we're using foliage when you're using foliage you can take advantage of that and have it on top of the tree in different ways so that it doesn't look like you're using the exact same tree so that's pretty much how I would plan for creating this environment so that's how you how you plan for environments is you first break it down into pieces and then just write down what you need to make and then start making that. And so that's the planning for this one. Let's look at, uh, let's look at, let me skip this one. Let's do, let's think about this one. So how would, how can we plan for this environment? We will plan it the same way. Um, this is a rough sketch, so it's not as detailed as the other one, but we can get some ideas here. Obviously we have some palm trees 
and palm trees are usually really similar across the environment so once again we will probably only need to make like one or two different variants of palm trees so it's gonna tell us uh, so we need two palm trees and we can use those across the environment and we could probably use one more that's like small small size palm tree that we can use and then for the ground we have all these like rocks and stuff what I would do is the same uh, that I mentioned in the previous concept is create a chunk so create a chunk of like rocks and these rocks we can also like reuse we can like rotate them to go up on a hill for example this would be the same chunk as this we can just kind of rotate it up or we could also we could also make like another one that's a little bit bigger this one goes off screen so there's that and we could reuse this across the environment this is one of the ways that like modern games make environments so that they don't look repetitive is that they create like chunks of like rocks and stuff like that and they just put that in between like ground pieces and that's how they kind of blend in the tile level textures with uh with bigger chunks that are more that have been made more by hand create a few ground planes like i mentioned or use the terrain material uh, terrain creation tool in unreal engine it's also pretty useful and then we have to decide what this is this looks like a pot or something so this looks like a pot or something or maybe it's just like a, another statue of some sort and so we have different ones so i will make it really depends if we really, really if we really want to redo this concept and create a scene that looks exactly like it then we can make two different ones but uh, it might be smart to create this thing in pieces so that we can kind of like remake different variants of this and use that around the scene you know break it into pieces that we can rearrange to create a different looking piece but using the exact same pieces that would be a good way to like create variation and not have something that's repetitive so that's pretty much it for this one and obviously you will have the tile level ground textures and in this case uh, you will also have like maybe create a water shader or something so that's how we'll plan that one and then we have this one so same thing same deal it's uh break it down into pieces now this one has a lot of different looking trees and if we're really going to replicate the concept like a one-to-one -one, then we will probably have to make let's see one two three four five maybe six different trees and the way we could save time there would be to use a tile level texture on the trees so we're not going to be like sculpting different trees or anything like that that's how we will get away with saving time or if you really wanted to sculpt it one way would be to make it maybe like one maybe make like three different trees that you can rotate around so that they look different but i think this this might be one of those cases where we can actually use a tile level texture on the trees uh, because when you're creating large environments you have to think about that too you have to think about how much time you're spending on it you don't want to be spending excessive time creating unique assets but obviously i think this tree here in the middle which looks special because it has an entrance and all that that will probably be a unique asset and then maybe we can find a way to repeat all these other trees and use them around the scene without creating unique ones so there's that so so this would be our maybe this is our hero prop in the scene so this is like the focal point or something and then we could make the other trees which are which would use a tile level a tile level texture so that we only have to model them but we don't have to like sculpt them or anything like that so there's that then we have the structures here we have some ground uh, bricks and then we have these uh, other small structures that we could possibly reuse so maybe we can get away with creating maybe creating one of these and then we can find a way to stack these to create the different shapes and so next we have our there's a bit of an entrance here as well again we can create this and that could possibly be the same one so we have this which is a modular piece that we can use here we can probably use in different spots if we want more entrances we could probably create 
stairs as one modular piece that we, we could potentially also use in other spots for entrances and then have like a floor piece that is also modular and we can use across the environment and the nice thing about creating these modularly is that you can stack these like you can if you wanted to keep going here you could add more stairs so you could use the same modular piece to go up or something and so we have that and then you could create like a wall piece or an entrance and again we would make that as a modular piece that we could use across the environment if we have other spots here that we want to use that for and let's see for the ground we will have a flat plane so it's a flat plane going across the whole environment and then to change to add variation to it we can also have like mounts like this and we can use those across the environment so it's going to be like a mount and maybe has like some rocks on the sides or something and then for the bricks on the floor to make that as a chunk piece that we can use across the whole environment wherever we want to have something like that some variation on the ground that looks more physical and so there's that and then maybe we can have some bushes on the back or use and some plants and stuff foliage and that's pretty much how you would plan for an environment so i just wanted to take you through the process of how to, what to think about when you're making a, an outdoor environment not just outdoor but any environment you want to look at the concept and break it down into pieces and more specifically you want to think about pieces that you can reuse across the environment so typically the next step once you have the planning done and you know what pieces you need to make the next step is just to block it out and create really really simple shapes i'm talking like geometric shapes like for example if you wanted to make this tree probably make it super simple super geometric so make geometric pieces, simple pieces of your environment. Um, let me show you. So for this one, I went ahead and I made this some simple shapes just to give you an idea of how simple you can go with this. So I made a few pieces here for like the walls and the stairs and stuff and the, one of the trees. But this is just to give you an idea of how simple you can go with the initial block out. And the reason you want to make uh, an initial block out is because you want to make sure that you're looking at the environment with the actual scale of the character. So if this is a first person game, you want to make sure that you can see it as it's going to look like in the game. And obviously you can, once you make your simple shapes, you export them and import those into Unreal Engine and just assemble your scene real quick and play the game so that you can see exactly what it's going to look like and so the next step after that is what you want to do is you want to start to like make it a little nicer make the models a bit nicer or you can focus on each model at a time so maybe once you get the block out and then you're in on real and you can see what the game's going to look like you can make adjustments or if it looks good, you can go ahead and start to like make the final pieces for each of your props. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to focus on with this video. Uh, the planning phase and how to create, how to think about modular pieces. So stay tuned because in the future I'm going to be, I want to cover also how to stay in style and what tricks you can use to uh, stay within the style of the, of the environment that you're looking to create. So stay tuned for that one. And thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.